We all deploying? Deployed. Deployed. All right, what's going on, guys? If you would have seen the last couple of videos, you would have seen the struggle was very, very real. Last week, we just, I don't know what was going on, but it was just a horrible time to be a fisherman. Uh, it wasn't just me either. Everyone I spoke to struggled, struggled hard. Yesterday afternoon, myself and Kaney were um, at a long drive comp. I was trying to hit the stupid ball as far as I could. Came second, wasn't too bad. But we uh, watching our phones and just saw the weather completely dropped out, which was random. Today was supposed to be 20 knots. Tomorrow is supposed to be 10 or 15, and then it's supposed to get really good. But looking at what we saw yesterday afternoon, thankfully we have everything ready to go. Um, set our alarms for four o'clock. I called Bowley and said, look, set your alarm. I don't know if it's going to stay like this. It might just be a storm and a bit of a lull. But have a go at it. The mor morale is very high today. Esky's looking absolutely incredible, and we've just found a mark that is loaded with fish. So we're going to get you up to speed with what's going on now. I'm going to drop down this jig on this new mark, and um, look, it's a good day. And there is not a single boat in sight because today was supposed to be 20 knots. They got it very wrong, but thankfully we're on. We are very on. I've only, I've only got eight this morning. Someone's got to do it, Bowles. I'm, <laughs> I'm still grinner specialist. Like if you want to, if you want me to ha show you how to grinner, I'm here for you. Yeah. Well, I saw it last time. Like, your skills. So I know you can... Have I just dropped? Oh, I'm in the mecca of them. Don't know how I nailed that, but. What's that? 40 to 60. There's 20 meters of fish there. No, no, get off it. Get off it. I'm not gonna hook him. Matt is not having the best luck over there. Oh, you Matt, you today. That's better. I left him oh, down there. Down. I left him down. Yes. <laughs> That's what you get, you little dog. <laughs> Try and come round here, muck round with me, Jig. Go on, Kenny. Wouldn't it? Don't let me down. <laughs> Not the biggest fish, but it's definitely better than that little mongrel that was mucking around with me. Lentises. We're looking at the right species, Bowles. Great specimen, that one. Oh, there's me little fish that was on. That looks like the have fakest. Look, have a look at the sound of it. Have I actually hooked him? Or is the jig just wedged in there? I don't know if I've hooked him. Oh, can you? Come on, just hold me there. I don't know if I've hooked him. I haven't hooked him. At all. Where's this thing? Look at that. Oh, it's full hard. It's actually wedged. So this was the little fish that I hooked. And then... Oh, Lee, look at. Lucky I didn't. Look at that. Lucky I didn't swing on it. It's a bit of a chain of events which has just gone on there. Drop down a jig. We've just gone into an absolute mecca of nannies. And you'll see me like 
you would have seen me lift my head just in disappointment can this little yakka which i've never seen here before it's really cool to see him this little yakka's come along and eaten the little lentis hooks and then we call it upgrading so what we do is we just basically leave them down there depending on what they are little cods don't get eaten but if it's like a whip tail or a little stripey or something like that generally big reds or big nannies will just come through and eat them and then this poor nanny hold on i'll get rid of this thing oh, there it is poor thing you weren't even hooked look we're not out here to basically fish i'm here to catch fish so every now and again you have an opportunity where you get to spike your jig and it's pretty rare but when the opportunity comes you just got to take it so that last fish that i got was on this yakka the livey thing that ate it previously you know what i feel like he's going to just go straight back down let's see how fast this actually gets eaten i reckon it's going to be ridiculous we're in him already Are we? yeah <clears throat> it's all right though yakka away There's a fish. Hey. There's a fish. Insta. Insta fish. Oh, he's pulling string. He's really pulling string. What a... <sighs> yeah. He's giving me a bit of hurt too. Get on up here, you beautiful critter. That is the perfect size nanny. All right guys, I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of what's happened here. This is the fish that we've driven over. Um, then we've come up a little bit further. We've started our drift. We've come onto the fish here. And you can see I've hooked a nanny here. And that's him coming all the way up. And that's the rest of the school down the bottom there. I know there's a bit of glare on the screen. Hopefully you can see it all right, but it's pretty interesting how they can, your sounder kind of tells you a little story of what's going on. You can see his friends have followed him up a little bit as well there just to see what's going on then they bail right it's not the biggest nanny but that to me is the perfect size eating fish still pull string very nice to see this fish on the boat for a day that we thought was going to be 20 knots this is like a bonus for us it's very rare that this happens so last minute call to come out with the boys good start great start here that's a 120 buffalo jig that one with a couple of sea rangers in there Good fish, happy with that. Um, I really hope I don't hook a little jimmy and have to upgrade it. I just love to be jigging, show you guys this technique, hopefully get eaten, get a good understanding of like how we work the jig, what you do and, but hey, little fill, oh, we're on the bottom. Get ready, get ready. You're in, so, so you followed, me, you get... followed me down. Yeah, yeah, you're in them right in them down. In the squiggles? So they're like blobs, not squiggles. Oh. How are we looking on the sound of that cane it? Yeah, still bait. Still bait? Won't be far off them. Yeah, they were just on the back side of the jig last time. I mean, the back side of the bait. Oh, 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 oh. He's there. Little Jimmy. Very little Jimmy. Yes. Oh no, we still got him. No, we don't. Oh. Or do we? Oh yeah. That's still him, hey. Looks like it. Oh no, that's not. That's different. 
Bloody hell. Did he just get munched? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> And he just free spilled him into a nanny's <laughs> neck. <laughs> Literally just sunk him to his death. Oh, wow. I'm going over here. You're going over, Bowles. I've got a bit on him. The upgrade. It is a real thing. Oh, it's another really good fish, this one. The setup I'm running here is a Nomad overhead rod, P2 to 4. This is a 6.2 version, which I kind of like a bit better than the longer. And this is a new Lexa 300, but it's a 6.3 gear, gear ratio, which same thing. I've, had a few arguments, well not arguments, but just having chats with people about it and to me, we're straight up and down. You're putting a fair bit of herd on that reel. So my thing is, you don't go forward driving in high gears. You drop your gears down, put it in four low, and you get them up. You've got that torque, a lot less pressure on the gears. Oh. That is a good looking nanny. Ball in the body. Isn't he? And he's white too. Now we're talking. That's one of the best looking nannies I've caught in a while. Eyes are all sunk in. So they call them saddle tails. If you look on the back of their tail, there's a, maybe that way you might be able to see it better. They've got a black dot, so the juveniles have like a really cool stripe on their head and then that black dot on the tail. We're doing all right. This is a, like the biggest relief, you know, after last week's videos and you would have seen that last episode where we had neap tides and we had all those issues and look at us go, we're back, we're back. It's good to be out with the fellas too, just catching a few fish. And it's a chill day, we're not too far off, we're probably, what is this one, Kenny? 65? 65Ks offshore, so for us, that's a dream, you know, a lot of our areas are about that 90 to 120, so yeah, this is amazing to come out here and get fish like this. I'm into it, but we are going to maybe have one more drift here, and we're going to push out to another mark, which is another 20Ks out, uh, fished it maybe two years ago and it was just one mark but it was back in the day when I had my old sounder and I wasn't really that switched on to finding fish so we're going to go to that mark and we're just going to do big kind of spirals and you just work your way around it. be really interesting to show you guys how I do that and what fish we find so one more drift here we're going to send it. Drifting fast? No, not as fast as four, but we're going to be on it in about 30 seconds, I reckon. New mark, never been touched, just found it. Three massive arches on a tiny little rock. Uh, it's all bait. Should be coming in. It's actually going to be a really good drift, this one. Oh, that angle. Oh, no, get out of it. Happened again. Oh, oh, come on. It's changing around sides. He got me um, off guard, that one. We haven't come into the fish yet. Starting? Yeah. Bait, fish on top of it. Four meters up. Four meters up, mate. Oh, and 
now we're probably finding the fish now. Oh, is that on the butt? That's on the drop. This is a big nanny, man. <laughs> Still just pulling drag and he's probably halfway up. Look at that thing. Oh, I have a lot of respect for nannies, hey. I really, really enjoy them. Like there's something about shooting a dude on cod with a rocket launcher. It's quite satisfying. Oh, bowley. And then there's Jigging nannies. Come on up, big guy. That's a big fish. Oh, Google eyes, hey? Oh, geez, that's heavy. <sighs> what do we got here is a quick measure. About there to there, looking at 82 for that guy. 82 centimeters of absolute chunk, Nanny. That thing's got some shoulders on him as well. That jig. 15 bucks. 15 bucks for that jig and it's done four fish now so tell you what it's paying for itself big it's like a big ass goldfish looking thing with those google eyes that's the title mate deep sea goldfish survival catch and cook naked chick <laughs> watch till the end <laughs> All right, so this is this mark. We've just been searching for about the last hour and we've come across this. All it is is a slight raised big bait school here and you've got two fish before. There was like three or four really, really good fish on the sounder. Um, came across it, got super excited, like never fished it before, never been here. Um, Bolly dropped down and got a big cod, which means basically it's never been touched because as soon as baits, as soon as jigs hit the bottom and, and you fish a new area, if you get a cod, a lot of the times it hasn't been fished before because they are like the first thing that's going to come through and eat your jig or your bait or whatever you're just sending down there. All right, this is drift number two. So drift number two, generally you get an idea of which way you're going, how fast you're going. So this time we should hit them. We are drifting extremely quickly though, so you've got to be pretty accurate with it. Really? Oh no. Probably got to go up further again, drift number three. But. Bolly! Bolly was down there. Really? Oh, that wasn't tap tap, oh. Kaney. That was large. Yeah. Oh, Kaney. Oh. <laughs> the Tower of Terror here. This is what we want to see. <laughs> it's 
Christmas, mate. A couple of them little Christmas trees. Oh, and more coming along. Mine's taken a little while to get down. Yeah, I just switched to the plastic, so I'm... I'm down. I'm well behind. Just give a little wind. Is that your secret technique? I think it is. Just the nothing action. Just the cruise. What do you think of them? Oh. It's a bit rattly. That's a bit... There we go. There he is. There he is. We're just having a... Oh, Bowley. We're just talking about... Bowley's got a shrimp on. Oh. Hey. Is this fish growing? He, he has grown. Definitely growing. Um, Bowley's got a shrimp on. We're talking about... Oh. He's... <laughs> He's imitating the mantis shrimp. This thing is just giving me proper curry. I actually thought it was a small fish at the start. Yeah, and then it, I must have just, I must have gathered up all my slack. Don't ruin my video with your Shimano roller bearing, Kaney. <laughs> Up he comes. Target specy. The target spec acquired. Oh, nearly jump us back. Let's put that there. The jig that just kept going. Look at it. It's nearly lost all its paint. It's all white. It's probably more beneficial, you know, just looking nasty like that. Quality fish there. Must have had a bit of slack in the line because when I came tight, he just rattled his head and I thought it was a smaller fish and he definitely woke up. We're back. We're bloody back. Or use a ceramic one. Or Kaney. Kaney. Oh, you had him. What's going on here? Look at this. Leave my jig alone. Yeah, you mongrel. That's better. Oh. You got something there, Matty? Yeah. That's a better fish. Sinking it down, and it's just getting pecked. And then he finally found it. Yeah, this 6.3, 6 6.3 gear ratio Lexa is a lot nicer. <laughs> Kaney, are you doing the slow wine bowls? Yeah, just over and over. We got three different techniques going on. Got a good fish here. I'm on the at the moment. Oh yeah. Mate, I wouldn't disappoint you, Bowles. Look at that thing. This one's actually hooked. Better look at this fish. I found, I don't know, leave some like messages in the comments if you want, but on the top of their heads, all these big nannies have, get rid of that, they have these big scratches on their heads. Kaney's one before he brought up had a big crab in it and quite often when we bring them up here they've got mantis shrimp so very interesting i reckon a lot of these fish like hopefully we get one today and it's got a big white scar on its head from 
when they're jamming themselves into like the wire weed or the fern trying to find bait very interesting i'd love to actually see what's down there and what they're actually eating but a lot of these fish come up with kind of uh some type of be a crustacean would be the right word wouldn't it not this guy dead he's dead he's dead yeah oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i had one oh What's going on back there? We both just went in sequence and missed them. That one didn't miss! To what, boss? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what a day on it! Yeah. yeah. Get up here. He's still pulling. Was it you, Katie, who got two on one jig? I got two on one jig once, yeah. What do you mean, spice? <laughs> Woo! Oh, hi there. That is a beautiful specimen. Look at this thing. The day on it, the nanny. Very cool fish, this thing. And the jig that just keeps jigging along. Hey, Parky. Can you have a little smile? Little baby smile. There it is. All right, well, we're back at home. That tide just changed on one of the last drifts we did and it proper shut the fish down. They were still there. You'd see them rise right up in the water column, but they absolutely shut down. So gave us a good opportunity to come back. Self and Caney is set up here, big filleting station. It's been a proper month since we've um, topped up the freezers, so it's a really, really good little top up for us. But I have some exciting news. The next like four days, proper four days, is um, zero to five variable. So myself and Jess are actually going to prepare tonight. We we're going to go to dinner with Brooksy and all the boys and have a good night. But Business is business, and we have uh, an overnighter at the reef, so. Whoa. Yeah, Parky, we're dropping. Well, Jess's little sister's actually taking care of Parky for us, which is actually amazing. Um, love to take him, but it's a bit full on. So we're gonna head out to the reef tomorrow, do tomorrow night, come back, and then I'm gonna go back out and do another overnighter again. We've got four days of it, so get it while we can. Hey, Bowls. <laughs> All right, well, that's us. Um, what do we got? Is that the last one? That's the last one. Stop it. All right, that's us. So um, I'm going to put these in the freezer and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>